So the Lord said, and I love this verse right here. It's coming from Hebrews 10, 25. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another. I love this. The Lord is speaking that we cannot forget about the church. I know a lot of us have been hurt by the church in the past. And it's not, it's the people of the church that hurt you, not God, not God. So I'm praying right now, Heavenly Father, as I meet with others to worship and praise your name, help me to also encourage others in your name. Forgive me when I overlook the latter because I am too preoccupied with myself, Heavenly Father. We come to you in Jesus name. We know that we have to get out of our own way sometime, but you're still asking us to meet at these locations. So the church is where we all meet and congregate and praise the Lord together. We have to keep these places holy. We need our church communities. We need our brothers and sisters and our children to meet at these places, to bring our children up. We must keep meeting together because someone may need us there. And that's where the truth lies. It's corresponding with the truth. I need you to sit back and write the top four reasons why you go to church or why you don't got to go to church. How does knowing someone may need you there make you feel about meeting up together? So this is going to be a challenge for me because I have not been in church. I sit and I make these videos for people so I can inform them about God, but it just dawned on me. I got to find me a new church home. Somebody needs me, and that's what the Lord is telling me. Again, Hebrews 10, 19. Let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another. We have to, even if we build in our own foundations or, you know, things of the church, because, you know, COVID then came around, things like that. We have to keep these meetups sacred. We have to keep our churches we have to get in the business. Somebody needs to even start their own church, their own congregation, their own praise and worship. That's what the Lord is commanding right now. I love you guys. Let us be great. In Jesus' name, amen.